Let us carry out now a test, uh, high, a chi square test, hypothesis testing four, which showing you also phi, chromers, v, and lambda. So I'm looking at the variable should Mariana be made legal or not, and the possibilities to respond to this question is legal, not legal, and then not applicable, or I don't know, and I don't want to answer this question. And I will look at gender as my independence. So does gender influence how your views on our Mariana's legalization? So analyze descriptive statistics and cross steps. This is the chi-square test. You click on it and uh, for the rows you select your dependence, should Mariana be made legal or not, and for the columns you select your independent, with it, which is gender. Do not forget to click on statistics and click on the rows chi-square, phi and chromers v and lambda, so all of them should be selected in order to be able to see it in your output. Click on continue and click on OK, and let's see how the test does. So basically you see here in your two times two matrix that 104 women said that Mariana should be legal while 445 women said it shouldn't be legal. It's slightly less. So more male believe that Mariana should be legalized versus women. Also remember that there was a slight discrepancy between the sample size for men and women, which sometimes disturbed the test that we carried out in class. Okay, so let's look at the Pearson chi square. Your null hypothesis is that, uh, that the variables are independent. You can reject that because the significance is less than 5%. Okay, so you continue. You say the variables are dependent. Now the question is how dependent are they? Uh, it's a 2 times 2 matrix, so your value is phi. It's 0 0.107, which is a weak relationship, right? Or slightly at the moderate, but I would still classify it under weak. And is it significance? Is it significant? Yes, it is. It, uh, this significance for the phi value is less than 5%. Remember, this is very important that it's not about the absolute value of the relationship that is important, but it's more if it's significant or not. So if you would receive a high value here that would reveal a very strong relationship, but it is not significant, you still cannot generalize for the population. In this case, we have a low significance and we have um, uh, a low value and we have a, a significance that is less than 5%. Now let's go to uh, the lambda measure and I told you the only thing you need to remember about lambda is that lambda is an asymmetrical measure. So basically compared to phi and Cromer's V, which are symmetrical measures, you see it's here, symmetrical measure. For lambda, it is important which variable you select as your dependent and which variable you select as your independent. As lambda measures the percentage of variance explained in your dependent by your independent, the same as the coefficient of determination in regression analysis. So lambda is a PRE measure. And in our case, your dependent is should Mariana be made legal or not. And as you can see, the value for it is very, very low. So basically the percentage of variance explained is close to zero. Nonetheless, it is significant. So this is what you have to remember that lambda is a PRE measure and it is asymmetrical. It changes values if you interchange the dependent and the independent. And this is the end of uh, hypothesis testing 4 together with measures of association.